Let's go over to our man, Mr. Basil Chapman, as you do each and every Tuesday. And don't forget, folks, Basil has an outstanding show here every trading day, 10 to 11 Eastern Standard Time. Also, it's a great newsletter, The Opening Call. Now, it's very easy to get The Opening Call, folks. You just come over to our website at TFNN. You're going to see it right under Featured Content. You just hit our man, Mr. Basil Chapman. You hit that subscribe button, and you're going to be riding that wave. And that wave, folks, okay, monthly cost, $149. For six months, it's $6.95, which is a savings of $199 or 22%. And a yearly cost is $11.95, which is a savings of $593 or 33%. Now, they all come with a 30-day money-back guarantee. And Basil has a huge amount of archives on his site. And you know what, folks? When you get volatile markets, bottom line, um, you know, yeah, this is not about buying the dip. Trust me, okay? Check it out. He's got great archives can ride that wave, you can really understand and get a system going so you can kind of comprehend how things work inside the marketplace. Basil Chapman, what's going on? Hi, Tom. How are you? Doing great, man. Yourself? Very good. Very interesting market as we are right at this moment. There's a pattern that I'd spoken to you about um, last week, and I said in my work, and you mentioned the archives, I discuss this in my archives all the time, as well as my subscription service, my daily newsletter. So there are three chart formations I always look at, straight line up or down, cup formation or an arch formation. You can, can get a mix of one and two or one and three. In this case, we're looking at the red one, which is like an H pattern. And when the price fails, how it takes out the left side low is really important. So a couple of things have happened. Now let me move this chart away and I'll show you. For the Dow from the high on the 5th of January, 36,952, it came down for four days and then bounced and made this H pattern, took it out on the left side, 35,689 low. It went straight down to 33,150 on the 24th of January. Made a very big arch formation, took it out on the 24th of Feb, ran up to this peak B at 34,179. So I said on my show today that this was really critical unless something was said during the uh, president's um, announcement um, earlier on. Um, if it stalls, that's really important because this right side of the arch, you can see, when it starts the momentum to the downside, the magnet of that left side low is so strong that it takes a lot to stop it. So it looked like it was going to stop it when there was big, that big rally, but it failed. We went down lower, and now we're up about 145 points. So this is fairly critical. But what I thought I'd do, I don't do this very often, so I thought I'd take the time uh, right now. A long time ago, maybe 12, 13 years ago, um, there was someone that I knew very well who was very good at doing uh, coding in TradeStation, which is what I use as a platform. And um, I had him, at some point, I had him make certain resistance and support lines based on <clears throat> my use of the MACD and the stochastic. So I don't use them all the time, but they are really very important when they become cluster formations. And here I'm showing you, this is on the left here is the, the Dow daily, right in the corners of the, uh, the 10 minute chart. In the middle is the weekly, and on the right is the monthly, and right here inside this monthly, I've got the 120 minute chart. <clears throat> what it shows on a very short term basis is that this whole area, the 32,700s, to the 32,400s, these key support in the very near term, 10 and 120 minute chart. But for the first time, I had to wait and wait because it takes a while when you go through the look back period. When you've made tops, it takes a little while to really form support levels. Um, look at the cluster right here in the down, the top. There were these levels of 36,422 to 37,000 in the daily. And look at the clusters right here, 36,400, 36,500 in the weekly, and even the monthly up to 36,750. And look how we reverse down sharply. So I've been waiting for significant uh, support levels to come in. And the last one here is 32,344 on the daily chart. If that's taken out, we're looking at 32,210 in the weekly and then 32,000, um, that's, yeah, 32,986. And in the uh, monthly chart, 31,000, 
600. So all of these levels. Basil, just the support, what was the daily one again? Because I remember this, you, you're bringing this up in your program this morning. What was the daily one? 32,344. Okay. But, but that is on the automated Chapman Wave support levels. But when I go to the, to the chart itself, what I said is if we go below 32,000. Uh, 750 today. That was during the show. Yeah, and I remember that. You've yeah. got to be really careful okay. because the 32,570 levels, the next support after that is just a straight line down to 32,272. All I'm saying is that that was the low on, on the 24th. Right, I so, see. I see. Okay, so, cool. So yeah. the power of the arch formation is shown here because this rally, this is my daily chart that I show my subscribers every day. The we couldn't even hold above the 14 period moving average. So the weight of the downside, something absolutely very dramatic has to happen to have not just a bounce. I mean, we've seen thousand point moves up and down and up to have a really sustained move into the 34,000s at this particular point. It's going to take something that is generated either crude oil falls sharply or something. Something really has to happen. But, you know, you were talking about wheat just a moment ago. This is a continuous contract of wheat. So these little circles, I mentioned it on my show yet, uh, yesterday and the day before. I said, uh, folks, I had to circle this because you wouldn't have seen it, but this was a limit up right, right here. So I circled it because it's a straight line move. Look, look it uh, opens at 12.09. It has a high of 12.09. Its low is 12.09 and closes 12.09 because it's limit up. Then the next day, we do the same thing. That was yesterday. We went limited up to 12.94, and then you would expect that the the gaps would be filled. And this is week. This is a continuous contract of week. Leg E in the daily, leg D in the weekly, leg G slash C in the monthly. And look what happened. It did pull back into the gap, and then it ran even higher. It went to a high today of 13.63 and a half. And even now, it's closing towards the gap of yesterday. So it's telling us that. Right at this particular point, we haven't really resolved anything other than very, very short term in the whole wheat sector. And when you think about uh, Ukrainians, they're, they're a big supplier of wheat. They can't turn around. Let's just say, for, let's imagine a best case scenario. Within a week, suddenly there's a relaxation of everything. Farmers can't do anything. Where are they going to ship the stuff to? What are they going to do? So I think these are intrinsic areas of concern with crude oil skyrocketing, uh, skyrocketing. And, you know, we've been talking about the DB contract, the DBC, DBA, which is a DB agricultural fund, which we've had, we've had for a long time for subscribers to my opening call. Look at this. It's just holding so well. And this has the grains, it also has sugar. So my concern here is that on a very short term basis, sure, we could get some kind of a bounce to get something lasting a lot longer. I think we have to have some some really strong pullback in crude oil, in the grains. We'll see how that plays out. And folks, it's very easy to get Basil's newsletter. Come over to our website at TFNN. You're going to see it right under the featured content, the opening call right on the left-hand side. Just hit that button and you are off to the races. Basil, have a great one, safe one. We'll look, look forward to the show tomorrow morning. Thank you very much, Tommy. You too.